I gave in and I got Hogwarts Legacy early. Here are my impressions after like 10 hours of gameplay. Not gonna lie guys, I mean, I'm a huge fan and this was something I, I was personally really just hyped for. I was pretty worried, I thought there'd be a little too much hype there and I'd get let down, but I mean, so far I'm having just a ton of fun with the game. To sum things up with no spoilers, you're a fifth year new student at Hogwarts and you're pretty special. You're not boy with a scar special though. I mean, the game basically takes place years before that, but you're gonna be seeing some nods to the franchise if you're a fan. I'm not too deep into the whole story yet to make a final decision on whether it's good or bad, but so far I like what I'm seeing. The whole game has voice acting and it's rarely bad or something that I want to skip. I mean, I actually found myself picking dialogue options that help me learn a little more about professors or tasks. Usually, I mean, I'll get bored with games like this and I'll just start hitting the skip button, but not with this one. Speaking of those dialogue options, I mean, I went full Slytherin since that's what the whole Pottermore site placed me in. So I am picking like the more evil things. Uh, I want some cash, I mean, in return. I'm not doing these side missions for free. Unless you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, you might reward me for my time. Ah, oh, you're not at all who I thought you to be. And you're not who I thought you to be. Based upon your diary, you seem terribly judgmental. Fine, I shall pay you. But you cannot begin to imagine what I shall be writing about you next. Should never have trusted them. The whole Pottermore thing is actually super easy too. You basically take this quiz online, you get sorted, and basically get a house with a unique wand. Uh, it all connects through a QR code at the beginning of the game, and seriously it just took me a couple minutes. I highly recommend it because the whole sorting hat thing isn't that in depth. Uh, when it comes to the game, which is kind of a letdown. You know, you are allowed to change, so let's say you place in Hufflepuff and you really don't want to be there. You can change to whatever you want. Same with the wand, you can always tweak and change it to whatever you want. As for the whole world, I mean, Hogwarts is insane. I mean, there's just so many doors for you to get into. There's blank puzzle pieces that you have to find. You have armor puzzles, uh, statues that are broken, and just tons of side quests that the kids are giving you over there. Some of those side quests are basic fetch things, I mean, but they're a good distraction and you do get items for it. Class is also not a waste of time like in real life. I mean, you actually want to go to class because it helps you learn more spells. I thought that this was really cool because this is something that they could have just tacked on considering like other games I've played with class in it. It's usually just a waste of time, but they went all out here and it seriously works. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Levioso! <laughs> lucky. Nothing lucky about that. You feel so absorbed in the world when it comes to just almost every aspect. Going back to items, I mean, it's really my favorite part of the game. We're finally back to just like finding really good gear uh, that looks cool and being able to equip it. Um, there's nothing here that's a microtransaction besides, you know, buying the game early and getting a couple freebies for it, or I guess not freebies if you paid, but you get what I mean. There's no store, there's no $20 skin packs. I mean, the only thing that I spent money on was early access. And I mean, if you didn't get that, don't worry, there's tons of gear for you to get in the game. You can even transmog the gear to look like something else if you don't like the way it looks, or you could just have it not show up altogether, which I thought was a really cool bonus considering um, some of the gear is kind of weird looking. And I really wasn't trying to run around in a skull mask because I mean, it gave off really evil vibes and I didn't want anyone to know that I was that evil. So transmog system is great. Besides Hogwarts, I mean, the world outside of it is seriously just as dense. There's constant things to get distracted by. The game just has so many secrets and things to do where, I mean, time flies by while I'm playing it. There are tons of collectibles and side missions to complete to where I'm seriously getting just Elden Ring deja vu here. Hogsmeade alone, I just feel like has so many shops that you can walk into, let alone secrets for you to discover. I mean, every collectible actually leads to you unlocking cosmetic gear, so I wouldn't skip on that one at all. 
If you're a little worried about how combat is, I'm gonna just come out and say, I think it really works. You can chain together spells, keep wizards and monsters in the air and use powerful finisher moves later on. You actually have to think while fighting enemies because their shields can only be broken with a spell that's a matching color, which, you know, honestly kind of gets hard to keep track of when four people are fighting you at once. And I've already died a few times, but combat's actually fun once you get that flow down. After a little trial and error, I mean, you're definitely able to just pull together these awesome combos that just get better as you level up those spells later too. This isn't a final review, but I just want to say I like what I'm seeing so far, and as a Harry Potter fan, all of the details are there in the world. If you're not a Harry Potter fan or if you're just, you know, someone that's not that into the world, I feel like this is a good game for you to pick up because it's just a good game overall. You know, the world's amazing, there's tons of things to do, tons of side quests, the combat's actually really fun. I mean, I think the developers seriously did an amazing job not only bringing this world to life, but making you feel like this new student at Hogwarts. You even get an acceptance letter in the beginning when you start the game. I've been caught on the hype train with a lot of games lately and they've really ended up being letdowns. I'm glad to say so far, I mean, Hogwarts Legacy is not that and I definitely see myself playing this one all the way 100% so I can see everything it has to offer. I'll have a full review out soon once I get a couple playthroughs in. I want to see what other houses have. Uh, what other side missions there are to complete. So keep a lookout for that one. Appreciate anyone that's watching this one. Thanks again. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>